Hello, Lindsay with the Mindful Living Movement. I wanted to share some of my favorite reasons for experiencing an in-studio yoga practice versus practicing at home. Um, and I just wanted to start by saying that I definitely do still, I practice yoga at home. I will tune into some of my favorite teachers um, online through like on-demand on demand classes or um, you know, like live classes if I can catch them. Um, but there's just like nothing that beats actually getting to be in a studio space experiencing class. Um, when COVID happened, this was like a real shock to the system. I know for myself as a teacher um, and then also as a student, just like not having that connection was really probably the biggest thing for me. Um, and so yeah, like I, I do take support as a teacher and as a student from my fellow yogis around me practicing on the mat. It's just like you don't even have to share words with the people that are in the space with you. There's just something about like when you have this sort of collective energy and you're working through whatever you need to work through in your own way. It's just like so supportive, you know, and you get to sort of have those moments before and after class where um, you get to say hi and and hang out with you know people that are very like-minded that's a huge huge reason that I love um, an in-person practice whenever possible a big one as well is limited distractions so I'm totally guilty of this at home um, if I'm practicing laying on my mat I kind of look over and I can see underneath like a dresser or something and then all of a sudden it's like oh, I really need to vacuum. There are some serious kitty cat tumbleweeds and my brain just sort of like leaves my practice and I'm already thinking about like how I need to clean the house later or something like that. So that helps a lot. Just literally taking yourself out of this space or your cats wandering across your mat or your children trying to disrupt your practice. It's just like you get to be with yourself um, and those distractions are usually much farther away. Uh, accountability is a big one. So accountability of your teacher being present with you. So we tend to kind of show up just a little bit better um, for ourselves when we know that we're being observed, when we, we know that there's like a teacher, we're not as likely to just like, you know, let our brain get distracted by things. We can sort of stay focused a little bit more on our practice. The other thing is that when your teacher is present with you and not, you know, on the other side of a screen or you're not just doing a pre-recorded thing, is that um, we can actually teach to where our students are at and it's just going to propel your practice that much further forwards. We can see, you know, where you're at, what props might be needed, um, and it just, it helps, like, just immensely for your overall experience of we can see like, oh yeah, okay, you're like this thing that we've been working on, like you're just, it's settling in perfectly. And then we can sort of add, we can like level things up a little bit so that you can progress in your practice and really see those big sort of leaps and vice versa. You can say to me, you know what, I'm a little bit tired today or I've, I had a leg day yesterday, I need to kind of take a break on that. And then we can tailor practice a little bit to that. So you still get to have a full practice, but we do it with kindness to ourselves, which is a, a big piece of things. You may not know how to adapt your practice um, if you're just tuning into like a pre-recorded class or something like that from home. Um, adjustments sort of follows that is a big one. Um, as a teacher, I absolutely love hands-on adjustments. Um, and as a teacher, it's just like, it's just such a great tool for sort of helping you drop into your body. And we, we think that things are often happening in our bodies that a lot of times are not, it's just kind of crazy. Um, so then having your teacher just make those like subtle little adjustments, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, my hip was a little bit high there or something like that. It just, it's amazing again for just alignment, for safety, and then for helping to get out of bad habits. We can settle into bad habits really easily when we don't sort of have those little readjustments along the way. And then of course, props. You may have yoga props at home, um, but it can be a significant investment sometimes. So having a large assortment of props at the studio is a really, really nice bonus. I'm a huge fan of props. If you've ever practiced with me in person, I generally, it's like I kind of know the inventory number of props and then I'll just like 
divide them out amongst the students. So if it's a smaller yin yoga class, we might use three bolsters a person or three blocks a person or three straps a person. You never know where we might end up. Um, I'm gonna use everything I possibly can to just like make it the best class possible. So those are some of the reasons if you're ever wondering, you know, yeah, you can practice at home or yeah, you can practice in studio. Those are probably my top um, five favorite reasons. If you have any others that you really love to show up in person for, drop them in the comments. I would really love to know um, what does it for you versus like those differences. And I hope you have a, mat a magical rest of your day until we get to meet again. Have a good one.